Alright, gonna do a video about how the Franks stopped a Muslim invasion into Western Europe. I'm gonna show this article from uh, wayoflife.org. Don't agree with David Cloud on everything, but he has a very interesting article showing how the Franks, they stopped this Islamic invasion into Western Europe, into the Western European nations. And sorry, my cat is crawling around down there under my table. And it's a very significant point in Western European history which prevented it from becoming an Islamic caliphate, because Islam is just simply Baal worship. It's ancient uh, Canaanite Baal worship repackaged. It's ancient Babylonian religion repackaged. We're going to show the article from wayoflife.org. Uh, again, don't agree with David Claude on everything, but he's pretty much spot on when it comes to this issue right here. So, if yeah, the Franks stopped the Muslim advance into Western Europe. The following is excerpted from the History of the Church from a Baptist Perspective, 2021 edition, two volumes at wayofleft.org. So, the book is available. Uh, it's about the history of churches from a Baptist perspective, and it talks about uh, the Franks. One of the sections, the sections about how the Franks, how they stopped a Islamic invasion, an Islamic conquest into Western Europe. So let's read this. Between 732 and 801 AD, Charles Martel and his descendants stopped the Muslim advance into Western Europe. Uh, Charles Martel, 1680, born 680 to 7, died 741, obviously, ruled the kingdom of the Franks, Fran Fran Francia, and Francia, that was established in 496 by Covis I, a convert to Catholicism. Now, obviously, Roman Catholicism is not Christianity. Whole other issue. Roman Catholicism is a uh, heathen Greco-Roman Babylonian religion. What is my cat doing? It's going crazy, but that's a side issue. Continuing, uh, Frank Francia consisted of sub kingdoms which, over Martel, had gained nominal control. The historian uh, Isidore said he was quote a mighty warrior from his youth and trained uh, in all the occasions of the arms. In the early days, the Franks fought mostly on foot, but were heavily armed. They they were heavily armored and used double-edged swords, daggers, javelins, and two types of axes, one for striking and one for throwing. The throwing axe was called the Francisia, Francisia, I think that's how I say it. It was a deadly weapon with a short handle and a heavy cutting five six, uh, cutting head five six inches long, five to six inches long. As they approached within 40 feet of the enemy, on signal, the Franks, the Franks would throw the Franciscas and sc to scatter shields, uh, wound, and kill opposing soldiers and disrupt the enemy line. The Francisca was used until the time of Charles Martel. They used bows that were about six or seven feet long. So they had they were they were actually pretty heavily armed in this uh, army. This this France the Frank Frank's army essentially they're very very heavily armed. They had all kinds of very advanced weaponry for their time. So let's continue on with the article. Oops, wrong, wrong tab. Uh, in 732, the Muslim armies entered Francia under the leadership of Caliph Ad Abdul Rahman, who promised to stable their horses in St. Peter's at Rome. And then they get the source there, the Sword of the Prophet, page 96. As they made their way north, Muslims, quote, burned churches and slaughtered the population, which is, you know, typical of what Muslims do. Uh, Martel joined forces with Odo of Aquantian, Aquantine, hope, hope I'm saying that right, with the 300,000 men, they defeated the inv an invading army of 80,000 or more Muslims at the Battle of Tours on October 10th, 732. Yeah, the Battle of Tours was when they, was a very significant battle against the Islamic, you know, Baal worshiper conquests. Let's continue. The Muslims underestimated their enemy 16 years earlier. Musa, the first caliph, said the Franks are, quote, brave and impetuous, impetuous, you know, not good at reading on a computer, in their attack, but cowardly and craven in the, even, in the event of defeat. Never has a company from my army been beaten. That is um, the Battle of Tours National View, October 12, 2013. That's when it was written. Martel picked the field of the battle wisely and was patient. He chose a wooded high ground where the Muslim cavalry would be less effective and waited patiently over a period of days to force the Muslims to attack. An Arab historian said they were filled with wrath and pride which is a recipe, recipe for disaster, which is a recipe for disaster, obviously. Recipe for disaster, sorry. Again, not good at reading on a computer. Uh, when Muslims assaulted them uh, with head with wild head hog, headlong charges, the Franks did not panic, but held their phylax position, staying as motionless as a wall. They were like a belt of ice frozen together and uh, not to be dissolved as they slew the Arab with the sword, unquote. So they were, 
uh, very, very disciplined, and they stood their ground against the hordes of Islamic uh, charging armies, essentially. They stood their ground. They were very, very, you know, had a lot of endurance, had a lot of just bravery in the face of this massive enemy. Uh, the Franks uh, used their shields and heavy armor to form a wall of protection. This discipline in battle was why the Roman legions had been successful in this, on the same terrain centuries earlier. After Caliph Rahman was killed, his army retreated back over the, the uh, uh, Pyrenees Mountains, destroying and looting as they went. You know, which is what Muhammad did. This was a major turning point in history, halting the advance of Islam into Western Europe. As we have seen in 718, 14 years earlier, the Muslims had been defeated in their attempt to destroy Constantinople, thus being stopped from conquering Europe and uh, conquering Europe from the east. The Battle of Tours, uh, it was the Battle of Tours that earned Charles' nickname, the, the Martel or Hammer. So, that's the whole thing, and that goes in 736. Uh, Charles defeated a large Muslim invasion force that came by sea and landed in Narbonne. Then it goes down there. You can read the whole thing, but it was the Battle of Tours was a very effective battle, stopping the Islamic conquest of Western Europe, stopping the Islamic, you know, hordes that were invading Western Europe, which now today is done through migration. The Islamic, you know, it's, it's essentially another Islamic invasion when you have all this migration into Europe. That's the thing, but. The Battle of Tours was very, very significant, and the Franks, they stopped the Muslim advance into Western Europe, thus essentially changing history, because if they had lost, Western Europe would essentially be an Islamic caliphate. So I want to show you that interesting point from history, how they fought off the Baal-worshipping uh, Muslims from the Middle East who followed the false prophet Muhammad and the Arabian moon god that is Allah. So I just wanted to show you that. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.